Hello, once again after the lunch break right now. I hope that you have a lot of energy for our next lecture. Mm, from logistic things, after this lecture there will be a coffee break, so feel free to attend it. And uh, the Q&A session will be held after the lecture too. So if you will have a question, please raise your hand and our volunteer will come to you with the microphone. Okay, without the further ado, Alexander Augustyniak is our next speaker. Alexander is a software developer at Nokia. He started his programming adventure over 10 years ago, learning Pascal, then C++, and Assembler for PC. He's an author of C++ app to detect eye blink on a selfie, painting app on assemble, Assembler for PC, and many other solutions for PC and PLC, including 5G deliveries at daily work. Alexander has experience as a programming and algebra tutor. He likes the game of bridge and survival. Ladies and gentlemen, Alexander, good luck. <laughs> hello, hello everyone. <laughs> yeah. hey, hello, to, uh, today we are going to talk about uh, lazy initialization. Uh, and uh, we are going to start uh, uh, to talk about uh, what, what it exactly is and uh, how we can use it. And uh, we are going to dive into some uh, implementations, some, some really simple code. And I tried uh, to write some uh, very, very basic example to make it uh, as understandable as, as possible. Uh, so, uh, what lazy initialization is? Uh, lazy initialization is uh, delaying uh, creation of an object uh, until uh, the object is used and uh, it also can be uh, delaying of some uh, heavy computation uh, until uh, the result of this computation is needed. Uh, how, how, how we can use it? And, uh, the, why, uh, the widest uh, usage of uh, this pattern is uh, unit, unit testing uh, where uh, we uh, create some, some mocks and uh, some dependencies of a uh, system under test uh, and in, in uh, some cases, this uh, delaying of initialization uh, can, uh, can result uh, in delaying uh, it until the end of program. So that means uh, the object is not created uh, at all and uh, we save some, uh, some resources, we don't have to do uh, any uh, calculation uh, connected with creation of an object. Uh, and uh, our program run runs uh, faster. Uh, yeah, and just we just uh, save resources. Uh, m moreover, in, it can be used in uh, production code. Uh, for example, uh, when we create some uh, heavy databases, uh, objects, and uh, we don't need. Uh, to create all uh, database until until it's used. Uh, for example, in in some uh, gaming, uh, we can only create uh, objects which are visible for for the camera or player or car, for example, when when uh, we play some racing game. And uh, yeah, and ba ba basically this is it. Uh, so lazy initialization is deletion of uh, creating object until the first use. Mm. Oh, sorry. Uh, and we are going to start with some very, very basic examples uh, how to implement it. And a uh, more complex example uh, uh, basically have this uh, basic example somewhere, somewhere uh, uh, behind and more complex examples are wrapper over it. So uh, the simplest uh, the simplest way to oh let's 
let's ha let's let's have uh, some subclasses which print uh, s something when it it's constructed and prints uh, something in some some method and it's it's just a, a simple method as it can be to show uh, some action connected with this object and i wanted to sort sub a class and sub b class just to just to have two uh, two classes yeah and uh, we have a lazy class uh, which uses uh, classes like this yeah. a, a b and c and c is equivalent of uh, subclass a subclass b and subclass uh, C, they just print uh, something when uh, they are constructed and they just print uh, some other thing uh, when they are used. And, uh, and here uh, we have simply, simply these objects and all lazy, lazy also uh, works like this. Uh, lazy uses uh, A, B and C objects and have constructor which prints something uh, when it's constructed. Yeah, and in uh, and here uh, to see how uh, uh, how uh, lazy works, we have empties. And do you know why it's empties? Like uh, module test, not unit test. Uh, this is module test because uh, we use original implementation of of subclasses. We don't. Uh, mock A, B, or C, and uh, it works like uh, in test uh, te test uh, object is created uh, in each test if uh, so uh, it's it, it's just a basic G test G test uh, G test things and. Uh, this class uh, don't have la lazy initialization, so it should print in each test uh, subclass A constructor, subclass B constructor, and subclass sub C constructor. So going back, uh, in first example, we create object of lazy uh, class, but we use only A class. But uh, Sub uh, object of uh, B and C class also is created, but it's not used at all in this test. And uh, the same thing is uh, with test of a B class. Only B class is used, but we create uh, also A class and C class. And uh, first way to uh, achieve lazy initialization is using of raw pointer. And I don't recommend uh, this way of, uh, uh, of implementing lazy initialization, uh, but it is uh, the, most, uh, the most simple way. So instead of using a simply object, we are going to use in our lazy class uh, a raw, raw pointer to the sub A class initialized with null uh, pointer. pointer. And uh, what what uh, are the drawbacks of this uh, of this solution? We we gotta uh, use explicit delete of a class, and uh, we gotta implement uh, a with new statement. And uh, <coughs> other 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 drawbacks is uh, uh, we gotta have a destructor of uh, lazy class, so that means we got to uh, uh, put some effort on applying the rule of five uh, implementation. So uh, the rule of five means uh, if we have this structure, we also uh, got to have copy constructor, copy assignment operator, move constructor, and move assignment operator. And it's not the end of the world, but we got to put some more effort on uh, implementing this. And uh, here, as you see, uh, we also have to check if object was already initialized. And if not, we create uh, this object and then 
uh, object is uh, used. And if object uh, were created, uh, was created before, it's uh, simply used and we don't create uh, other object. Uh, so it helps us to delay uh, creation of this object. And in our test, uh, the same class when we test uh, A, as you see, uh, we have subclasses of lazy constructors uh, because uh, they are not lazy for now uh, and they are constructed before the constructor of lazy class. After uh, subclasses are constructed uh, and they are uh, fields of lazy class, as you remember, a uh, lazy constructor is called, but uh, sub a constructor uh, it's called uh, right before usage. So if 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 we could go back to to the lazy class, uh, one slide. Oh, uh, if we re replaced here uh, a uh, field by pointer to sub a class. Uh, sub a class constructor, it's not called before a constructor of lazy class, but, but it's called right before uh, usage of, uh, of a class. Uh, and if we uh, don't uh, use a, a class, for example, we call class which uses only uh, sub b stuff, uh, as you see, a constructor of a subclass A, it's not uh, called at all, and the object of sub A class is not created, and we saved uh, our resources. In this example, it's not uh, a big advantage because the object is uh, very light, uh, but if uh, a, a sub A object is heavy, uh, it can be huge, huge advantage. Uh, yes, and as I uh, as I mentioned before, uh, the drawback uh, of this solution are uh, explicit usage of uh, delete and new. So we have to manage the memory manually, and there is a risk to. Uh, forget something to do something wrong and in huge projects uh, uh, it's not recommended and the the other thing is some some extra effort needed to to apply the rule of five and uh, more safe option and uh, i think the option recommended by default uh, could be smart smart pointers and uh, you can use uh, either a unique pointer or third pointer. The difference is a unique pointer can have uh, only one copy and the third pointer can be uh, shared uh, between uh, some, uh, some uh, between a, a lot of var variables. And uh, I, I used unique pointer in my example, and it, it, it could be a shared pointer, and I think it's, it's even uh, better to make it a uh, shared pointer. Uh, and uh, we, can, we can use, uh, we can use a smart pointer in the same way uh, as we are using uh, the raw pointer. Uh, simply before before uh, usage of uh, the object, uh, we have to check if object uh, was initialized before. Uh, if if it's already initialized, we simply use it, and if not, uh, we have to create this object and and then uh, use it. And if we if we have uh, like I mentioned before, some simple uh, unit test uh, or module test from, from JTS. And he, here it is a module test because uh, we use original implementation of, of B. Uh, the effect is, is like this. Uh, a constructor of sub B class, it's called 
after constructor of lazy class, so la lazy class is created uh, without uh, creation sub, sub B class before, uh, and uh, we delay uh, construct of sub B class uh, until until it's used and uh, it's created right uh, before first first usage, and if uh, B Class, it's not used by uh, this this uh, lazy class or class which uh, uses the sub B class. Uh, this object is not created at all, uh, and uh, we only create objects which are not uh, lazily initialized. Mm. Uh, the other way of uh, the other simple example of. A uh, lazy initialized uh, uh, object is usage of std optional, and uh, uh, mm, uh, we initialize the field with empty optional instead of instead of object, and uh, we we gotta check if. Uh, an optional has has a value. Then, uh, if if it has a value, we can simply use it. And if not, uh, we have to emplace uh, uh, this object. And this this function basically basically calls a constructor of uh, sub b uh, object or the object uh, which is wrapped by uh, std optional. Uh, yeah, and uh, mm, you know you you have to remember to check if it's uh, if it's already created uh, to 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 not crash the program. Uh, this is this is a drawback, uh, but advantage is we can delay uh, we can delay our uh, uh, creation of this object. And in this example, as you see, only only lazy constructor is is called, and now uh, neither uh, sub a sub b or sub c uh, object uh, is created. Uh, all of this uh, object now waits uh, till the first time they are used. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and the uh, b uh, b class. It's construct only if uh, B class is used, C is construct if C is used, and uh, those objects are not created if uh, if they are not not used. And what what what's the difference between smart pointers and STD optional? And uh, when uh, one or the other uh, option is oh. Please uh, excuse. Wh when uh, those uh, uh, options are better, uh, the main difference is uh, smart pointer uh, allocates uh, the memory for the object uh, on the heap, and std optional allocates the memory for an object on the stack. So. Uh, the memory is uh, occupied a little bit longer for std optionals, uh, but we have faster, faster access to this memory. And I recommend std optionals, for example, I, uh, when you test mm, with mocks, uh, we, when you test some class with with mocks of object, uh, which are fields of a uh, system under test and in such cases uh, fields are created uh, before the constructor of a, a class under test and uh, you don't have a opportunity to set expect calls uh, for those uh, constructors and uh, you can solve this issue by uh, Mm, using std optional uh, and uh, delay construction of class under test 
uh, after setting uh, after setting those uh, expect calls. And uh, if you if you know uh, gtest uh, works uh, th this way. Each test has a constructor of test. Uh, each test has a setup method and teardown method. And uh, those uh, functions are called uh, every time when uh, uh, when we have some some test in in uh, GTest. So, for example, a test class can have a class under test field, and it can be created in constructor of test class, and before it. Uh, we can set some uh, expectations for uh, for uh, for those constructors. Mm. Okay, and uh, let's let's look at some some uh, more examples with ba basic duties. And I tried uh, here to do. Uh, really, really utis. So uh, here we have a uh, basic mock, and uh, to make to make it a little bit easier, uh, I didn't uh, use uh, mocked object as a field of a tested class. But here, uh, here I. Uh, uh, I showed some some dependencies, so y and x, which are constructed in a similar way as as before, uh, are simply uh, dependency which are in, in, in injected to a lazy lazy constructor. Mm. And uh, to mock to mock class uh, y or uh, class x, uh, we gotta have uh, some. Uh, we gotta have a virtual function uh, for it, uh, and also I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. We have we have we have virtual function, uh, and uh, th this function is mocked here 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 in mock, and in in test uh, we have test of this lazy class. Uh, we uh, we creates uh, creates a mocks and a search pointer of mocks to compare a lazy initialized mock with not lazy initialized mock. Uh, and uh, if we use, uh, we set expectations uh, on the mock X to doing some stuff and uh, using uh, our our lazy uh, lazy class, uh, we are using method which uses X object, uh, and we do similar stuff with y uh, y class, uh, but here we creating uh, mock y only only here in test of of y, uh, and the result uh, the result is uh, not lazy initialized class is. Uh, constructed in both uh, in both uh, cases in both uh, tests and y is created only uh, in test uh, which uses uh, the class of y mm. okay and uh, now let's let's jump to some uh, more advanced example. So uh, only only to s summarize uh, what we have until this moment, um, uh, the basic ways 
of a lazy initialized object is using of raw pointers, smart pointer of or a std optional. And more advanced uh, example is uh, using of uh, proxy design uh, patterns. Uh, and uh, you, can, you can use the un under this uh, design uh, all of, uh, uh, all of uh, method mentioned before. Uh, so what, 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 what is proxy uh, design pattern? Uh, we have this uh, pattern where a real object which is, which is created and our proxy wrapper uh, implements the same interface. So uh, the interface must be the same, each method must have uh, the same name and the same arguments and uh, they can uh, derive uh, from some interface or simply have the same uh, the same interface and uh, before and proxy uh, before calling any method from real object uh, can check if uh, object uh, which is under the uh, proxy was created before or or not uh, and if and if not, it creates this object. Uh, but here, it's not only in, in one place, but uh, it checks uh, it checks if uh, object was created uh, before in each method in the interface. Uh, so I think uh, key, key key takeaways from this uh, presentations. Uh, I think is to to remember that lazy initialization is uh, delaying of object uh, uh, creation uh, and or uh, delaying some some heavy expenses processes until until they are uh, needed for the first time and. Uh, uh, and basic basic uh, ways to achieve it for example to to uh, to use raw pointers smart pointers or std optional and i i recommend uh, by default using smart pointers and using std optional for unit testing when you have to uh, set some expect calls for uh, on uh, creation of uh, fields of of system under test. In some languages, we also have uh, some uh, wrappers uh, to, mm, to not create manually object, like for example, C Sharp has a lazy uh, wrapper on object, and you can also do it uh, manually, but by yourself, and uh, these wrappers uh, simply uses uh, real objects, and uh, creates uh, creates uh, this object before uh, its first uh, usage. Mm. And oh, okay. And I I, I think basically uh, this this is it uh, fr from me. Uh, and do, do you have any questions about uh, the lazy initialization? Mm. Yeah. Uh, Alexander, I guess there are no questions. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because I can't see any hand in the air. Okay, thank you. you okay, know. so I, 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 I tried to make uh, these examples as uh, as basic as possible to uh, help understand the uh, people who who, who begins uh, the adventure with it, uh, und understand it better and under understand the basics of it. Uh, yeah, and uh, I hope it will be it will be <laughs> useful for you. And thank you for your attention. Okay, and thank you for that, Alexander.